is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to a brand new episode series here on the channel of my new Let's Play of Phantom Doctrine. This is a new game that came out a couple of weeks ago or so. It's still... it's still, um... in the works, so to speak. It's gotten a few patches already. Uh, but this is a game... I, people have closely associated this game to things like XCOM and everything, but it's way, way different than in terms of, like, the style of gameplay. Um... There are nuances that are similar, but there are various things that are, like, very, very, um, well, new. Um, we're gonna do a new game, and we're gonna kind of go with that. The recommended, of course, uh, for the, the entire game experience is medium difficulty, so we're gonna go ahead and kind of get into that. I've been watching a lot of gameplay on this game, because it looks so awesome. We're gonna disable the tutorial. Um, I have played this game a little bit, a little, little bit, as as uh, my uh, voice cracks there. We're gonna do all subtitles uh, just so we can, you know, get into all this kind of thing and set up. Um, we're gonna get into this game quite a bit, and um, I gotta go with the CIA uh, because I can. Mail, as far as our operative, this is our character that we are creating. I'm gonna go with. Uh, Spear. So there we go, and I'm gonna go. Oh man, we got so many profiles to pick and choose from. I'm gonna go with. There was a guy at the top that I kind of liked and gravitated towards. This guy right here. There we go. Create. Now, as you can see, we can get into a lot of depth and, uh, it looks here. Uh, for... We have a lot of face presets. I could say that much. Holy smokes. I'm gonna go face preset of Kevin. Uh, full beard, color. Hair. That's fine. We'll do that. Close. This is so to kind of while I'm doing this, I'm gonna kind of get into the whole uh, idea behind this game. So this is set in the 1980s during uh, the Cold War, and it's all about espionage and um, and and all that kind of thing. So we're gonna go with that. Ooh, kind of like this setup, like the green, like the formal pants. I also like the idea of the cargo pants there. Nah, I don't know if I can do do that without the camo. That's the problem. Tight jeans. Sure, kind of like that. Gloves, absolutely. Tactical gloves. I'll have some, um... Maybe some Oxfords? It's not a bad idea. And then headgear. Definitely want a hat. Because I feel like a hat is awesome. The Panama. We do the felt fedora there. Actually, not a bad idea. And color B, we'll do that, I guess. Eyewear. Tactical shades, could do that. Eh. Oh, the eye patch. Oh, yes. Arr, they're a pirate of the CIA. Um. Now we're just gonna go with no eyewear, and we'll go with maybe some attachments, maybe? Nah. Earpiece. Ooh, Shimaga, actually. For me, personally, I wear a lot of Shimaga, so this is fine with me. I don't do bandanas, I do Shimagas. What do else we have? Okay, so we have that. That's perfect. And other details. Uh, scars. Not really one for scars, personally. No tattoos or makeup. No, we'll do a one scar. We'll do an eye scar there. Do a little bit of characterization. Uh, let's see. Physique. Slim, stocky, athletic. I'll do a slimmer build. That's fine. Okay, I think we're set with our character. Let's start the game. 
So this is, I, I, I will get into a lot of the nuances of the game, but it's set in the 1980s during the Cold War. Espionage is our friend, and I will explain a lot more about that once we get in game. But I'm excited. Let's go ahead and begin. The events you're about to see may have been buried or covered up. Those with traceable records have been marked with a specific dates on the occurred on. Verify at your own risk, but trust no one. Juliet uniform. Reporting contraband seized. Understood. Break off patrol. Head back to base. Tavarish, HMS Conqueror Narushal Radio Malchani. Что? Показать расшифровку. А быстрее. Немедленно послать в Москву. Немедленно. We got intel from Vladivostok. It's big, Steve. Langley seen it yet? No. Should they? Hell yeah, but use the network. We don't want anyone listening in. First the British, and now the Americans. Was there anyone else you wanted to involve in our plans? I am handling it, Valhalla. Get out! Both of you! Your incompetence has exposed us. Now Iceberg is in jeopardy. Doing all of this in the open was your idea. True. It was a simple plan that any fool could have executed. And you failed. Gentlemen, this problem is easily solved. Traitors! Now, now, don't shout. It's bad for your heart. All right, so that's kind of the intro and everything. We are um, on a raid, unsanctioned raid, rather, called Whitefish. We have arrived in Pakistan to check up on an alleged nuclear program. We enter the mission area in disguise, but it's not, but it isn't foolproof. Keep clear of high-ranking Pakistani troops. Do not engage unless they fire first. Confirm the existence of the fission device, then evacuate before they know where we were even here. So the primary objective is to find the proof of the project and evacuate upon a completion of the main objectives. So here we go. Six weeks earlier, uh, before such and such a date or whatever, I don't know. You really think this Pakistani nuclear program is legit? Leslie's usually right about these things. Really? Shit. I bet him ten bucks it wasn't. You're a hopeless dreamer, both. So they're all in uh, hazmat suits, it looks like, or uh, nuclear. They're all in disguise, basically. Green Hills Air Force Base in Pakistan. Not a nice landing spot. I'll wait here until you call for evac. Good. Keep the comms to a minimum. Our disguise is pretty thin as it is. What if Leslie calls? I don't think he'll be joining us on this one. He's on the move. Okay, so, uh, before I make any sort of moves, this is kind of the, the combat, well, I say combat in quotes, um, of what we have going on. And we have our agents of Deadpan, otherwise known as our character, Christopher Spear. We have uh, Durand, one of our other agents, which are one of our starting CI agents. And then we have Can, 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 Canasta. We have Canasta here. Um, who is also in disguise. And you'll notice that on each of them, we have the 85 health. We have on uh, Deadpan in particular, we have some uh, armor here, 8 armor, which is nice. All of them, I believe, are in disguise. I think that's what that co-hanger with a t-shirt and whatnot means. And then we also have um, movement points over here, the double arrows. And then we have an, uh, a fire point or an action point, basically. Um... We have the health bar up top here, and then this blue bar 
which is actually really, really important, is known as your awareness meter. So this helps with things like dodge and um, whatever else. Uh, but it, uh, for various actions, like if we go in for trying to take this guy down, this enemy right down in here, it will cost an action in order to be able to, um, uh, you know, do anything. So we can pick up an action, we do takedown. So in this case, if we take down with deadpan, we can do, it'll cost a fire point, it'll cost a movement point, and it'll also cost 50 awareness. Now, awareness does regenerate, but that it is over time. So that is a thing. But what we will do is we will, we will do go in here is we're going to go in here and just kind of move to this area right over here. We are in disguise. It doesn't really matter what we do at the moment. There is somebody else in here. And so we're going to go ahead and get Canasta over here to kind of just this general location. I'm here. And we're also going to get Durand over to here. Kind of just, you know, in cover area here and whatnot. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and end the turn because there's not really much else I could do other than just kind of just to, you know, do whatever. So we're gonna go ahead and end the turn up here. We're seeing the enemy activity. We're gonna have this guy is moving on over here. This guy's moved to here. So we can't necessarily take that guy down yet. I saw some intel in there when that guy moved. This is intel right over here. And intel is really, really important in this game. We're going to move Canast over to here. Yeah. I think we'll be fine with the range and whatnot, or the, the vision of just opening this up. We get a boltproof vest, a silencer piss or suppressor, um, pistol suppressor, and some light armor, which is really, really nice. And they're going to kind of go in here. Move right next to this guy. We're not going to take him down just yet because I am worried about the vision of this guy. So we're just going to go ahead and go over this way. This guy is going to move back, which is nice. We'll set up for that. I am worried about the civilian, though, so we will move to here. I trust this is important. And end the turn. Now, something else to note. If our character dies, this is something that's actually pretty important. So the, even though we have a character that's created, that's kind of the head of this particular CIA unit. Um, oh, yes. Okay. So you are moving back this way. So I'm just going to go ahead and stay there with Deadpan. So I'm going to go ahead and move just here for right now. You are moving back that way. Okay, fair enough. I trust this is important. You are just staying there for right now. So let's end the turn there. So if my character dies at any point during the campaign or is captured, it's pretty much game over. So we got to be very cautious of when we take uh -huh. the character out, Deadpan in particular, um, of them actually, you know, doing stuff. Now we're going to go ahead and do a takedown here and confirm. Nice. And we get some XP out of the deal, 7 XP. We're going to take it, do a takedown here with Deadpan. Now you also have, may have noticed really, really quickly if we hover over the abilities, is that we can dispose of the body. We could do it next turn when we actually have a fire point available. But we're not going to worry about it just yet. What's the path of this guy? So he's going to move back here. I'm going to set up for that. And we're going to go ahead and kind of just move here and end the turn. And we should be out of the range of the other civilian that's right over here. We should be fine. So we do a takedown with Duran, which I'm going to do right now. Okay. And you'll notice that they, the uh, the awareness also dropped as well. But we're going to have to wait till next turn in order to be able to dispose of the bodies. We can dispose of this body here. And disposing of bodies on other missions actually has a little bit of a, uh, a good thing as well as a consequence. Is that 
you know, it's good that we are we're able to dispose of the bodies and take them down. But the AI over time will actually respond at some point and will say, okay, um, we are, you know, there, there's no contact with these other people and um, so on and so forth. Now, since we're in disguise, we can go to a lot of different places and it, it should be fine, but I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to go out here. Can I dispose of the body? I can't. I don't have enough fire points. So we'll just end the turn there. So there's a, there's a lot to this game. And we're going to go over that. But I've already gone over kind of the main beginning points. Is that, you know, stealth is our friend. We're going to go ahead and take down the civilian, I guess, while we are at it. Oh, no, we can't. Really? Now we can. Okay, so we're gonna have to wait again until yeah. we can dispose of that body. We can dispose of this one, though. Uh -huh. Which is nice. And our awareness is regenerating quite nicely. Quite, quite nicely. And we're gonna go ahead and go in here, spend an action point. We're not spending an action point, but we're at least we're going to stack up on this door over here. Because I do want to go in here for that intel. And can I dispose of the body here? I can't. Not yet, so I'm going to wait another turn. Civilians, it doesn't really matter. It's going to be more of the, um, the enemies that are going to be looking for eventually... Yeah the um to see if anybody else is in the area and so like they will be actively looking for suspicious activity on the 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 battlegrounds here so to speak so that's gonna be a thing let's move deadpan over to here laser barriers there's definitely something valuable in here get rid of them before you stroll through one so yeah, it's going to force us to go in this room to begin with anyways. And we might have to get rid of these civilians here as well. Which, ironically enough, we can do so. Um, what if I move... If I move Canasta to here, I should be able to spend an extra fire point... Yeah, both of them are looking away from each other, so let's go ahead and do this now. With both Durand and Canasta. And let's end the turn. Uh-huh. And we'll do... we'll do, um... We'll confirm that with the bodies. can't really skip those animations, unfortunately. But what I will do here is I will go ahead and I will uh, collect this intel that's here. One out of four. So, collecting intel is really, really super important. Because this is what allows for us to actually... Um, it, it's really good for us to collect it. Now, I don't see... Any other location immediately off the bat that I can, you know, that we can get intel? Okay. I do know that I want to remove this body. So yeah, this is very much, you know, stealthy stealth, espionage kind of deal. Okay, we brought down the lasers, which is good. Disabled two security measures. And we're going to go ahead and go here. Standing by the hall. And Duran can actually move into the room. Of which there is a guard there. Enemy activity.
do 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 do. So I actually found out about this game through one of you guys, through one of my subscribers. And it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this intel that's here. Another uh, another intel classified doc or confidential document. Move deadpan and canasta over to here. And in the turn, enemy activity. So I'm gonna have to move out here. Yeah, me too. I'm just gonna confirm the bodies for right now. There's a lot to do. Now, I've also noticed, depending on the missions, on the mission types and everything, uh, there, is, there are modes in which, you know, we could be doing episodes for about an hour or so. It's quite ridiculous. So, I just, if you're going to follow the series, first off, thank you for following the series and, you know, hopefully you'll leave a like and everything. But I want to let people to let, let, to let people know that it's very likely that a lot of these episodes will end up being about an hour or long or so. So just keep that in mind when you're watching this. So sealed off. We reached the sealed off area. We do have a guy up here. You got a lot of background noise. What's up? Nothing. Lost the tail by hopping on a million dollar yacht. No big deal. Well, we're looking for the reactor. No luck. Trace is everywhere though. It's there, guaranteed. I'm just moving this area over here. That guy, I think, is going to stay there. I didn't see the path. Oh, no, he's moving. Okay, I didn't see that he would actually move. Uh huh. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and with mm. Duran, since you have a lot of awareness still, or you've pretty much regenerated, let's go ahead and confirm this attack. There are cameras, but the, the camera currently is on the inside of this place. And we're going to go ahead and remove the body with deadpan. <gasps> do, 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 do. And we can go over here with Canasta. I'm going to go ahead and open up the door here as well. So we can see what's on the inside. Now, there are... One, two, there are two people that I can see currently. We're going to go over here with Canasta. There are three. Huh? My skills are at your disposal. They're pretty much just staying there for right now. So what we can do... Oh, he's moving. Or she. And they're looking away, which is good. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is this. I'm going to go ahead and bring Deadpan into here. Uh. Duran, I'm going to move to right here. Everybody has full awareness. I'm going to start with taking uh -huh. Deadpan. And uh -huh. confirming this takedown. I'm going to confirm this takedown over here. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, he's moving back anyways. That was a misclick. I'm really hoping that they don't notice us. Leslie, Bolt totally owes you ten bucks. But we've got a reactor and what looks like a fission device. The test is imminent. Get out of there, now. Copy. We'll save some leg work if we jump over the wall from the roof here. Bolt? I heard you. Activate your beacon now. I'll meet you at the LZ. We're going to take care of that guy. While we can. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. I'm here. Deadpan's going to remove the body here. And, um, we're going to take D 
Durand and take him down. Nice, nice, nice. And we'll wait for them to uh, yeah. we'll wait. We'll wait on that. We're gonna move Canasta out of here as well. I'm here. And the really cool thing that we can do that we're gonna actually gonna set up here to do in here in just a second is we're gonna go for a breach on the other building. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit up on the door. And we're going to do a breach. And this is pretty much the end here. I'm actually going to wait till another turn here. Can we not do that? Oh, we need to confirm our evac I'm first. Four turns until they arrive. Can I not do this? Okay, let's focus fire on on Yeah, let's just let's just go for this. Okay. That killed everybody in the room, which is nice. And we're going to go ahead and get the intel where we're at it as well. So we've breached the bunker. I have no clue where the other intel is on this mission. But you know what? I'm not necessarily concerned about that at the moment. I'm more concerned about just getting out of here. Yeah. Okay. Alarm has been raised. And we're gonna get everybody out of here as soon as possible. Do, 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 do. Okay, get everybody to cover down here. This kind of, it's it's a lot smoother than uh, XCOM 2 for whatever reason. Oh, hello. Could open fire on this guy. Do burst. There's plenty of things that we could do. We'll go ahead and do this. Gray's shot because he is in cover. I 
think we're gonna go ahead and do Overwatch here. With Durand? I'm here. Yeah, me too. Nice damage. He's hurting. Not enough action points. Okay, let's go ahead and end the turn. Nicely done, Durand. Beautiful. Okay, and our evac is now arriving. I'm here. Of which we'll be able to get in here unhindered. And now we should be able to evacuate the team. Confirm. And also you notice up here there it says evac compromised. Let's just say bad things will happen if that counts down. Um, yeah. So you want to time things as appropriately as possible. Okay, mission complete. Secondary objectives completed as well. Two out of two. Uh, agents exfiltrated at a three. Equipment acquired uh, three out of five. And uh, classified documents three out of, three out of four. Not too bad, but let's go ahead and continue. That was a lot of fun. So chapter one, outfoxed. Leslie, my mentor, asked me to investigate rumors of a nuclear research in Pakistan. During our incursion, we had witnessed a cold test of a fission device, which means that the Pakistani are at most months away from getting nuclear capa uh, capability. Someone had to sell them the technology. And we get tactical summary, materials acquired, we got a bulletproof vest, we got light armor, and a pistol suppressor, which is nice. Uh, CIA Special Concept, uh, Concepts Division, we get a new agent report, uh, Intrepid's investigation talent revealed, uh, of which it's another agent that we already have in our ranks, and we have new candidates, uh, Chinbit, I guess, and let's continue. So this is really cool. So we got 84 experience for both Durand and Deadpan, 77 for Canasta. Um, we so experience is uh, the most most of it is going to come from just completing the mission, but it's divvied up also by how many like you know takedowns or enemy uh, shots and whatnot fired and everything. Nobody is. Um, Nobody was wounded, uh, so we don't need to go to the infirmary. We're gonna go ahead and just go to the agent dossier. Fender's on the line. Someone must have told him about our little trip. Put him through. Agent Deadpan, uh, I regret to inform you an, an inspection of your operations is imminent. Why is that? Hard to be sure, but my money is on the allegations of an, an unsanctioned operation in Pakistan. I literally have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Leslie isn't your handler anymore. I am. Keep, keep ignoring that, and you'll lose the squad. Fender out. This might be bad timing, but you have a package from Leslie in operations. Okay, so there is a lot to kind of show off here. Uh, several YouTubers that I've watched on this now have been, you know, kind of doing some, you know, overviews and everything. And we could do the same, because this is a still a fairly new game. We have our agent list, which gives us the level, their standings and whatnot. Um, we have Deadpan down here, obviously. And then we also have people for hire, uh, which also is very, very useful, especially as our agency grows. Now, a couple things to note. Obviously, we have uh, the locations, which matter. We have the statuses. We have the ETA, which, you know, that's important. We have the languages of which, you know, which agents are proficiency uh, in terms of their language, uh, you know, abilities. Uh, we have uh, Duran, which speaks Russian and English. Kanasta, English and Arabic. Monk. <laughs> uh, Dutch and English. We have Hellion speaks German, Intrepid, Czech, Slavic, and German, and then we have Deadpan, which speaks English and Arabic. And these help out occasionally for um, different missions and whatnot. They are, they're just actually some things that you can do with that. Um, we have, uh, so unlike XCOM 2, where you you know your missions are by the day and whatnot, we have by the hour 
so we have the day here and then we have go by the hour and whatnot we have 10,000 to start with making 40 an hour um and we do need to increase that over time we have the current danger this is the danger meter uh because in our current hideout where you know we're at zero out of 500 this will rise and given how new this game is and how much i've watched other people do gameplay on we don't specifically know as of yet how to lower the danger without moving to a different location because people will move to different locations and so that's going to be a thing also we have heat on the different enemies and our different people and whatnot as well so given we just took out deadpan canasta and duran their heat level is going to be pretty high um so that's going to be a thing and you know with that you know with more heat we have to take into account the fact that we might need to modify their identity so that's in direct correlation to that we also have their equipment you know so it's the sparrow the french dow other weapons and everything um smoke grenade first aid kit we also have training and perks now with perks what i'm going to do is this we have you know this is kind of the first amount here we have brickhead protects from stun effects Peripheral vision, overwatch field remains circular in a wider radius. Vietnam veteran increases the width of the overwatch cone and gifted. Bonus XP for all missions. Early on, this is actually going to be pretty useful. So I'm going to go ahead and do gifted. Uh, we also got training right now, urban operations. Em uh, abilities are empath, are empath and proficiencies are for the different weapons of the B-76 and the point are uh 45. we can also change the training to something else i'm just gonna leave it as is for right now canasta also got to level up we got peripheral vision paramedic which might be pretty good expert marksman a single shot no longer ends the turn and quick recovery i'm gonna do an expert marksman here so that's pretty awesome and then, I'm also I'm almost tempted to hire this person. This is Chimbet, uh, speaks Russian, which is nice. But you'll notice that, you know, there is a cost to hiring them, as, you know, as we've seen before in other games like this. But there's also a danger level. level. This automatically adds 60 plus uh, danger to our danger meter. This works similarly in the... Um, in XCOM 2 to the uh, Avatar Project Process, um, or rather Avatar Project Progress, uh, so that's nice. So I'm going to hold off on hiring her for the moment. We got the infirmary, no need to actually put in anybody in the infirmary because nobody is injured. We got the workshop over here, uh, I believe, yes, so deadpan crafts faster than anybody else currently that we have and you'll also notice that we have some tech upgrades um of which you know we have a uh, recon equipment unlocks tactical recon job allowing for uh to gain tactical advantage during missions we have agent limit we have one more infirmary slot which i'm not going to really focus on at the moment because we're not injured we have an additional investigation board job slot which i'll get to in a moment increases the agent capacity limit uh this is pretty important uh that we'll eventually need hideout perimeter detectors maximum danger is increased meaning that currently it's at 500 that will get increased to some number uh effectively reducing the risk of raids and re re uh, related losses uh improved real estate estate contracts uh basically unlocking more uh hideout locations and then also forge facility uh which unlocks the forge facility caching or excuse me cash forging custom characterization and identity we're gonna go ahead and go for this right now it'll take about 10 hours we're, we're, we're gonna develop that and we're also going to assign i think lock picks for deadpan right now and then we're probably going to get into what is perhaps one of the most awesome spots we need more intel in order to get this free spot but this is probably one of my favorite things about this game is the usage of intel in the investigative boards 
So this is very much kind of like the corkboard setup, or you know, in more modern times, the, the whiteboard setup, but more or less the same. We get to make connection points with the various intel that we've picked up. So we got a package from Leslie, our former handler. That was some first-rate espionage work. I'm talking about mine, of course. Since my intel proves so accurate, I must assume the rest of it is worth checking out as well. I need a favor. Find the man called Aguire. His He is neck deep in this. He's also a... You know, a name. <laughs> Dossier attached. Let's continue. Classified documents revealed. Information obtained about the completion of our objectives. New secret file of the Aguire's dossier. Continue and confirm. So, here are, here's the first note. Jeremy Meldez, uh, known alias is Aguire, born 12-16-1959 uh, in Puerto Rico. Summary profile, impulsive and vengeful. Known history, 1973, April, arrested in Puerto Rican by Puerto Rican police on the very charges of, on charges of petty theft, dismissed with a warning, Within the same year, arrested twice more, but every time walks out with, without serving any time due to his age. Uh, 76. Uh, spent uh, Sentenced to 25 years in a local prison for the murder of seven people, including two of his own gang members, escapes within six months of, of detention. 77. Appears for the first time in the DEA records as a local enforcer for Redacted in uh, Miami. DEA, our DEA runs a surveillance under the Chilean reps. Now, this is kind of the first clue as far as our organization, so we can click on it. There we go, Chilean rec reps there. Files, uh, the file confirms he's making money on the side as a talent hunter for several brothels. Evidence is for multiple sexual assaults and kidnapping throughout the year. Never prosecuted due to formal reasons. 1978, di disappears from DEA's radar. Uh, for, uh, possible sightings in Cuba. We suspect he underwent uh, training by Cuban intelligence. Spotted in 1980 in Miami. Arrested in DA during the Operation uh, Operation Tiburon. Tiburon. Tiburon uh, released upon intervention from the local undisclosed agents uh, government agencies in 1982, and also in 1982, official enrolled as officially enrolled as. A volunteer with the Good Samaritans of America, sightings in various Middle Eastern op operations or Middle Eastern nations, suspected continued smuggling operations. So we have the Chilean reps. There's not really any more intel that we can collect or that we can go through right now because we don't have any. But this is kind of our middle starting point, and this is so cool that once we get more intel, we'll be able to make connections back to kind of the main intel thing so which is awesome so we have that so that's on Aguirre we have CIA uh, operations we uh, overview device detecting humans through walls special uh, concepts division no nope. De developed a transmitter that probes the area with radio waves and measures the reflections to calculate the positions and movements of humans through walls so far up to four separate inv individuals can be measured. Recorded uses the device has been tested during the surveillance meetings between Redacted and their longtime partners of Monoxides. Uh, the device was still cumbersome to use, but its effectiveness remains undoubted. So, longtime partners? No. Uh, we already went through that. It's an organization. Monoxides. Okay, so that's an organization. Uh, cool. So yeah, these are kind of clues around here. We just click on what's kind of standing out as far as uh, information is concerned. So we don't have any more intel on that. Perfect. And now we can kind of go back. Uh, and then we're going to kind of go over to um, our world map, which is right here. Now we obviously have it paused right now. This is Baru, our current uh, hideout. And we got a bunch of suspicious activity that we can go ahead and do. So we're going to send people out. We're going to send out Hellion as well. 
and we're gonna hit play. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, acquire located. We track down Acquire officially. He he coordinates maritime transports for a charity called the Good Samaritans of America unofficially. That's what we need to find out. Uh, we just need to wait until he makes a suspicious move and then follow him to the destination. So we're going to pause. We do have some new intel, which is nice. So we're going to go to it. Got Chilean reps. Nice. So we can make a connection here. And then we got this guy here. Another photograph of which we can't really go back here. Oh, wait, no, there's a new new thing on the map. So connect to there. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So I love that. I love that bit. We do have acquire activity. Uh, we need three more agents of which we'll send, uh, let's see, Canasta and Durand. Actually, we'll send uh, Intrepid. And then we'll have Durand go back to base for right now because there's nothing at this uh, at this port. And we'll go ahead and hit play. There's nothing at that port, so we'll send him back to base. Okay, so we now have uh, mechanical workshop done. Lock picks. Uh, let's go back to the facility because I want to see if we can build anything else. Maybe a flashbang might not be a bad idea. So that's happening. And let's go back to here. So currently right now we are going to tail the agents. They are currently working on this, I believe. I think. Uh, forge facility. Nice. Unlocks the forge facility. Let's go ahead. And, uh, actually, let's go back at here. So we got the forger. Um, we're going to assign Durand for right now to the job because everybody else is away. And we're going to go ahead because obviously right now we can actually customize the agent. We can also customize or bring up a new ID. And this will... This will get, I think we'll eventually get into, we're, uh, you know, when our ID for this isn't safe, uh, that's when we change over the new ID, or we just leave them out for a while. Uh, as for our next bit of research, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and go for more cash. So let's develop the garage. That will be nice. Play. So is this doing anything? Oh, we actually need to select stuff and start the job. Okay, gotcha. I was just sitting there for no reason whatsoever. Uh, let's just go ahead and continue. I'm not really going to build anything else at the moment. Ah, pause. Let's send, um, let's send Hellion. And go ahead and hit play. More stuff over here. Okay, agents, uh, are, that is done for more cash. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go to the crew quarters. I'm actually going to go ahead and hire. I know it'll give us a little bit of um, danger, but I'm going to go ahead and hire uh, Chimbet because we are getting to the point where we kind of need another recruit. So I'm going to go ahead and hire... Uh, Chimbet. So yeah, that costed us some money, and it also added some danger to our bar. Now, she is working on basic firearm drills. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And so what we're going to go ahead and do with you... Cool. What we'll go ahead and do with you is we're going to go back to the map, and we're going to send you to... Um, Baru. In Chinbet, there's no local allies present, but this is a hideout candidate, which is nice. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Crap. All right. Okay. Taylor Guire, Marscat. Um, 
Aguirre drove for several hours and crossed the border into Syria unhindered. The border patrol must have been paid off. Our, agency, our agent finally tracked him down to a ruined uh, public library in Syria, in a Syrian ghost town, where Aguirre set up camp. Continue. We've got more intel. Okay, there we go. Uh, Dr. Robert, I will be thoroughly unreachable for the next two days in Jetstream. There we go. Cont our lot of redacted there. Contact me only if our friend in Kingfish surfaces utterly penitent for holding an extensive dossier on the crimes committed by the Antigua or Antiquala or whatever cartel. Okay, there we go. Do not contact me under any of circumstances, Dr. Robert. There we go. An Antigua Cartel. Nice. So let's go ahead and connect those two. Uh, Kingfish. Nice. Conspiracy to be revealed. Excellent. So we're going to go ahead and move these guys over this way to kind of keep it uh, all um, all nice and pretty. Oh, lots of redacted. Okay. Uh, cooperative asked to follow... Uh, follow. Oh, yeah. Cooperative. During that... Uh, redacted during their visit in Cooperstown. Or Cooperstown. Following their allegations of involvement with redacted. CC and redacted were dispatched redacted. Provided support. Target has been taken... Uh, taken the bus in direction of the airport. Arrival in Cooperstown. The... Target surveyed the area uh, and entered the shops. Um, CC? There we go. Nicely done. So, no. This is kind of just a, a kneel point here. Ah, there we go. Uh, personal communication, a lot of redacted. Pur uh, purchase from the former dealer? Nope. Successful on arrival in Crossroads. Cabolds break off for our, uh, all the deals as well. Deal returns to original pricing. Nothing missing. Day 12, identified CC and redacted team. Luckily, the backup squad created a diversion on the cargo being transferred su successfully to the market roof. Okay. Equipment repackaged and transportation to a lot of redacted. Okay. So, uh, there's Cooper's Town, or excuse me, CC. Uh, what about, about anything else? Oh, Crossroads. Okay, so Crossroads is there. That's connected. Uh, no. Oh, is that it? Okay, that's it. Perfect. So that's that. Excellent. Well, we are at almost an hour, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to end the episode there, but that is the first episode of Phantom Doctrine. I hope you all enjoyed. I feel. I hope you all enjoyed this uh, episode, this very first one. Feel free, as la uh, always, ladies and gentlemen, to Hulk smash that like button. Comment in the comment section below if you're new. Do not forget to subscribe. Also, feel free to support me on Patreon. It really goes a long way to supporting the channel. Even if it's like a dollar a month, that really, really helps out. Uh, and plus, you'll get some content back, which is really, really awesome. Feel free, as always, ladies and gentlemen, to do all the stuff and things. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, may the force be ever in your favor.